Hello everyone, I'm Mike D'Angelo with That's Entertainment, and this is your video review of GoldenEye 007 by Eurocom. As classic games go, GoldenEye 007 is probably one of the ones that are most fondly remembered. Beforehand, the idea of a successful first-person shooter on a console was pretty much laughable. After that, the platform changed entirely, opening the door for tons of other titles and even genres. James Bond games have come and gone, but none have come close to living up to the unrivaled hype that the Nintendo 64's title instilled in its fanbase. Now, 13 years after the fact, Eurocom has taken up the role that once belonged to Rare, and they are releasing a reimagination of GoldenEye for a new Nintendo system. But with only a name in common, is GoldenEye 007 for Wii set to suffer from the same indifference as the other Bond games? MI6 has given us the go ahead on a mission. While this game is based loosely around the original game, and that game was based upon the 1995 film, Eurocom was afforded enough creative freedom in this title to maintain a fresh face. In the new canon, GoldenEye 007 takes place with Bond, with Daniel Craig's likeness, investigating a Russian terrorist organization along with his friend, another 00, Alec Trevelyan. Together, the two invade the hidden facility in Archangelsk that supposedly hides a large weapons cache. The basic structure of the game will feel familiar to fans of the original, but there are plenty of surprises to keep you entertained. Not everything plays out the way you expect, leaving you more open to some tricks in the storytelling. This game treads the line between honoring its source material while still expressing enough new features to continue filling up to date. This iteration of Bond features a stealthier, more hands-on approach that comes from having Craig as the face of 007. With that in mind, you benefit more from looking around at your surroundings to find an alternative approach to combat, or at least a better vantage point to initiate it. Eurocom has changed the once iconic wristwatch to a more contemporary smartphone, which you'll use mostly for cataloging data for MI6. You'll also use it for hacking systems, but this GoldenEye definitely features Bond as a more rough and tumble spy than Brosnan's back in 1997. There are a ton of control schemes in this game, and with that in mind, there really should be no reason to not be able to find one that works for you. With the options to use the remote and nunchuck, classic controller, or GameCube controller, among others, you'll find one that works. Some of them do feel a little bit clunky, but the game is fairly forgiving, affording you an auto-aim and regenerating health that more modern shooters offer. We've come a long way since the original GoldenEye 007 for the Nintendo 64, but the graphics in this game make it look like only several short steps. There have been plenty of games that blow this one out of the water, visually speaking. Whereas the design is fairly impressive, the physicality of everything seems weak by comparison. There's also an overly dark feel to many of the levels, leaving you running blind at some points. The soundtrack is exactly what you'd come to expect from the Bond franchise. With different spins on the theme, you feel right at home, and if you were playing this game with your eyes closed, you could very well believe you were playing the classic. Of course, the new vocals help to ground the game in the here and now, with actors like Daniel Craig and Judi Dench fulfilling their movie parts in this release. With the multiplayer being a huge component that people will remember fondly from the original, a lot of focus needed to be stressed in this reimagination. Not only can you play four-player split-screen, but you can also go online and duke it out with up to seven other players. Things feel a little disjointed at some points, especially dependent on your controller scheme. Eurocom has further elaborated on the multiplayer by making it function a little bit like more modern shooters. There are light role-playing elements with the capability to level up your character to enhance their abilities. Fans of the original will also be happy to know that a good deal of the goofy cheats that could be acquired in the first will be making their way into this iteration. Finally, there are several different difficulties which extend the amount of objectives you have as you advance towards the hardest playthrough, ensuring you'll have a good deal of time to put towards this game. GoldenEye 007, the original, set ridiculously high standards for any potential retread to follow. This game doesn't meet that bar, but it would have been ridiculous to consider that possible. While the offerings are far-reaching, they do end up feeling a little rushed at some points. If the developer had a little more time to polish this game, it would have certainly been the better for it. As it stands, it is a fun title that is a welcome addition to the Wii's catalog. That's Entertainment Awards GoldenEye 007, a score of 8.5 out of 10. <laughs>